Hello friends, welcome to next tutorial in ChatGPT RPA series. In today's video, we are going to write code to split big file by size. Link to this YouTube playlist and GitHub repository source code is included in the video description below. So let's head out to our GitHub RPA repository. In this repository, if you are looking to split CSV by rows, you will find link to other notebook here. In this video, we are going to write the code to split any big file by size and combining it back. Here are a few steps we are going to follow. First, we'll make sure that we have the appropriate packages installed. If not, then run pip install pandas or any other package. Then we are going to write down the statistics of the file, for example, file size. And if possible, we'll take a look at the image, play video or audio file before splitting it. Then we are going to split it, combine it back and make sure that combined version matches with the original content. You'll also find original chat GPT generated code, which works just fine. If you query chat GPT how to write code to split big file, you will see something like this. And this code works just fine, but we are going to write our own code. So open a new notebook. Let's say start by importing package OS. So operating system package, and I'm, we are going to list out the content of the directory in the folder sample data. So os.list directory and give the path to that sample data folder. Let's run this. As you can see, there's a CSV file, there's a folder, two folders, there's a CSV and there's an image file. So the code we are going to write is equally applicable to image, video, zip or any other file. So as you can see the image file, it has been created 21 days ago, is 496 bytes. Similarly, CSV file is 56 MB file. So the same code you can, you know, let's take a sneak peek uh, of the PNG file. And if you happen to have a video file, please make sure, you know, try to run it and make sure that it works. All right. So now once you do the uh, sanity check, let's go uh, start writing the code to split that um, into equal chunk size. First thing, what do you want to do? Chunk size. So for example, your file is 496 um, KB file. So you want to split in four different part of five different parts. So 1024 is actually the byte. So this is equal to one KB. So 496 bytes. Similarly, if you are trying to split sample data.csv file, you have to um, make your chunk size a lot bigger. So in this case, we are going to have chunk size equals to 1024, which is one KB. All right. So now let's give the file name, file name. And here we are going to the sample data or CSV file. We'll come back and change it later in a minute. Let's import OS package because most of the file open functionalities are defined inside the OS package here. So import operating system. And I'm going to open the file with open file name. And I'm going to open this file as read binary. RB stands for read binary. So with open as in file. And then I'm going to define a chunk count. So chunk count is actually, uh, so you are going to split the entire file in different chunk sizes. So let's go start with the chunk count equals to zero. And then we are going to slowly increment chunk counts one by one. All right, so chunk count equals to zero and we are going to initiate a while loop. Now inside that while loop, all you need to do, take that in file and read one chunk size at a time. So in file dot read chunk size, which is 1024 byte in this case. So we are going to read one chunk at a time and we are going to store this into the chunks. All right, so now all you need to do, once you have the chunk ready, um, we are going to, because the, we are inside, still inside the while loop, so we need to break it out. Once once the all the chunks have been read, you need to get out. So if not chunk, we are going to uh, give a break. Uh, otherwise, we are just going to keep reading chunks into uh, one size, one chunk size at a time, all right? So while we are still inside this while loop, all the chunks have already been read. So now it's time to write those chunks. So I'm going to create another uh, file uh, dot part. So it's going to look like sample data dot CSV dot part zero. And I'm going to create this file as out file. And uh, as you can see, this is right WB. That means like write binary file. All you need to do out file dot write. And then at the end of it, just increment check count, um, check count uh, by one. All right. So. It's pretty simple. Um, this code, again, is very intuitive code. If you have any problem, just feel free to open a defect and I'll be happy to work you out. Okay, all right, before I do that, I don't want to because I need to change the file name. So I'm going to copy this PNG file here and I'm going to replace it, you know, because I don't want to split my 56 MB CSV file here. So let's go change this to an image file here. And again, if you want to split the 56, please plan accordingly. Uh, take a look at the, your file size, which you're trying to break in. And then you equally, you you know, you know try to, you plan well, that you know, how many parts you want to break into that. And then you, that's a, then you accordingly, you change the chunk size, all right? And keep in mind that 1025 bytes equals to one KB, 
all right so here what you are passing is as 1024 is the chunk size so here let's go split this out okay this code as you can see this was a very small file size and we just uh, split it accordingly let's go uh, quickly check our sample data folder here as you can see it has created one um, part file here and the reason it created only one part because originally it was 496 bytes and we are trying to break it like in, in, in 1024 that means 1 KB so you are breaking half KB file into 1 KB which doesn't make sense uh, anyway let's go try to combine it back so with open and I'm going to pass the same file name here okay and this time all I'm going to do I'm going to take that part file and I'm going to read that part file and I'm going to generate as an out file here. So for example, so for I in the range chunk counts, that means read all the chunks which have been created and take the file name and read one file at a time and store those into one into individual chunks, combine those chunks and write it as an out file. All right, so again, inside this for loop, all you need to do, read the individual part contents and combine it all together. So with open and I'm going to, you know, read all those file names, which have the parts have been created, part 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to read those as in file and then put all those in file, put all those chunks together, combine it all together and then create an out file. All right. And then what we want to do, we want to do the cleanup because, you know, after that, you want to remove all the part files which have been already created. This part is optional, but it's a good idea to, uh, to do that anyway. So os.remove and you want to remove all the parts. All right, now let's go run it. So if everything goes well, you will see the part file must be gone and you will see a new file which have been combined together. So now let's go list the content. As you can see, the par all the part files are gone. So if you go back here, but you see that this is not the original file. This has been just updated like few seconds ago. And if you double click it, that's where you check the data integrity. It should work just as fine. So in case if you would have given a CSV file or an image file or a video file, audio file, please make sure that after you split it and once you combine it back, the data quality should not uh, see any loss. So in this case, again, please plan accordingly. If you want to split a one gigabyte file or one, uh, people use it for like, you know, splitting up to 10 gigabytes or like one terabyte files. So I have personally use it for like, you know, a very large amount of data, which I want to split. Anyway, so I hope uh, this code works out for you. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to drop an email and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.